Today, we're diving into a topic that's been making waves in the fight against climate change, carbon credits. But what exactly are they? And how do they benefit companies and governments? Stick around to find out. Let's start with the basics. What exactly are carbon credits? In simple terms, a carbon credit is a permit that allows the holder to emit one metric ton of carbon dioxide, or its equivalent in other greenhouse gases. Think of it as a license to pollute. But it's not unlimited. It's part of a global system aimed at reducing emissions. When companies reduce their emissions or engage in activities that absorb carbon, like planting trees, they generate these carbon credits. These credits can then be sold or traded to other companies that need them to meet emissions reduction targets. So how does this system work in practice? Well, it's all about creating an incentive for businesses to reduce their carbon footprint. Governments set regulations that require companies to either cut their emissions or buy carbon credits to offset the emissions they can't reduce. These regulations are usually part of cap and trade systems or international climate agreements like the Paris Agreement. There are two main markets for carbon credits. First, there's the compliance market, which is government regulated. Companies are legally required to meet certain emission reduction targets. If they fall short, they can buy credits from companies that have reduced more emissions than required. Then there's the voluntary market. In this case, businesses, governments, or individuals choose to buy credits voluntarily to offset their emissions, even if they're not legally required to do so. Now let's talk about how companies are benefiting from carbon credits. First up, Tesla. Tesla is a perfect example of a company making significant profits through carbon credits. Since they produce electric vehicles, which have zero emissions, they generate a lot of carbon credits. These credits can be sold to other car manufacturers who still rely on traditional gasoline-powered vehicles. Tesla has made hundreds of millions of dollars from selling these credits, money that helps them keep growing and investing in even more sustainable technologies. But it's not just Tesla. Many companies in the renewable energy, forestry, and clean technology sectors profit from selling credits to those struggling to meet emission standards. And it's not just companies. Governments benefit too. Carbon credits help countries meet international climate goals. Under agreements like the Paris Agreement, countries commit to reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and carbon credits play a big role in helping them achieve those targets. Governments can sell carbon credits to other countries or companies, generating revenue while supporting global emission reduction goals. Plus, they can reinvest this revenue in green projects, like renewable energy initiatives or reforestation efforts. As the world faces more pressing environmental challenges, the role of carbon credits will only continue to grow. They represent a key strategy in the transition to a low-carbon economy and with more regulations and climate-conscious consumers, the demand for carbon credits will likely increase. Whether it's large corporations, small businesses, or even individuals trying to reduce their carbon footprint, carbon credits are helping create a financial ecosystem that drives real change for the planet. So there you have it, a crash course in carbon credits and how companies and governments are benefiting from them. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and subscribe for more content on climate change, sustainability, and all things green. Drop your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.